and he goes down, he's going to flatten out. And if I go to pick this leg up to turf, almost every time he'll put that hip down and curl up away from me in a ball, just like that. And now, it's, now it's really hard to lift that leg. But what I can do is shoot my arm right up through here and grab his wrist. You see that? If the guy, bottom line, if the guy, I like to go for the turf first, because in the turf, I can hold the guy over with my legs, and I can work on him with both my hands. And so it's punishing, it's easy to turn him because you have both hands free and you hold him there with your legs. It's easy. Okay? Um, love the turn. If I can't get it because he curls away, I farmer his feet. Now I can hold him down with one arm and I can turn him with the other. I'm holding him with just one arm in my body. I don't have to hold him with two arms anymore. Okay, so I have him here and I go for the trick and he turns away. This arm comes way up here. I'll grab his wrist and I pull it down. And now the key to this one is just keep that tight and keep pressure here. He can't get his wrist out with just that arm. He needs this hand to peel. So if he tries to do that, just drive. Okay? And if he tries to bring that hand down, that's when you're turning. Okay, right here, I'll go ahead and count back points of ref. As this guy's peeling his hand, it's fine. But, I mean, this is, look how easy this is. This is like a, a kindergarten turn. It's ridiculous. There's no technique, I just pulled him over. It works, it does work. He's on his belly, I'm here, and he tries to fight that wrist. Grab that elbow, boom. Knees are wide, I pull him right in the gap. And I can cover him with my chest. Throw all weight right on him. And just, I'll tell you what, he can fight that hand all he wants. It doesn't even matter, watch. Yeah. Okay. okay, now, the belly's out, chances are he will not. If this hip comes up, grab it, pull him back. Okay? And if that's not enough, come up, grab his head and pull him back. Okay? And if that's not enough, go in here and tilt him. Okay? And come back up. And if he bellies out and finally puts that hip down like he should, now I go for a claw. And I pull him towards me and turn him. Okay? And if he fights my claw off with his hand, okay, then I go for a cradle. See how many moves there were just there? all with one hand, and I'm just holding like this with the other one. It's simple. So when you're on top, you want to put yourself in a position where you do have as many opportunities as possible, and he has next to none. And the few opportunities he has to get out of that, you're going to have counters for those opportunities. Okay? Does it make sense? So let's go, let's go back and retrace your steps a little bit. Let's back up a little. Okay, start here. And I'm pulling this down like that, switching knees, grabbing that arm, coming up, and I grab the near leg, and I drive. Okay, when I drive, my, my right knee is going to be shooting up underneath his arm, so he can't, so he can't fight his arm out. So he can't use that elbow to beat my hand. Okay, now at this point, I go for a turk. He fights that hip down. Watch my elbow go way to the mat. Watch. Elbow goes all the way to the mat. That makes my arm as long as possible. Grab his elbow, shimmy his wrist down, and you got it. Now, a lot of times as you're doing this, okay, don't just hand it off carelessly, because he'll rip his hand out of it. And now you lost it. If I just try to grab it with one hand like, like that, you know, you need to hold on to it with this right hand, grab it with your left hand, pull down, get it tight, and then you can let go. Now at this point, usually, this is what, right away, He'll start trying to bring his hand down and fight you. That's when you grab it. Watch my base. Cut. Boom. Okay? Hold him for back points. He'll belly out. And if your belly's out not far enough, hold him back again. Okay, this is, this is powerful. All you do is hold it. Okay, but I'm turning his hip up. Look at his hip. It's like a door. Right? It's like a lever. Okay, now, if he finally puts that hip down, I go straight to the far shoulder. Okay, so I want you to do that. First thing is going to be this. You go for the, uh, the lift and turk, and he puts the near hip down. Shoot your arm way up there, secure that wrist real tight, come up, grab his elbow, hook it like this, hook it, pull him over, put your chest down on top of him. Try to hold him for two. Okay, if he fights or flips around, try to grab his shoulder, or you can grab his head. Okay, and you just hold that arm down there. All I'm doing is clamping that arm against his leg. That's it. I'm not even, I'm not even grabbing it. I'm just clamping it. Okay? Then when he finally bellies out, you can see the opposite hip down. Boom. Right into the far shoulder. Turn him. 
And if you get them turned with this and you know you're not going to pin them, start working either half or let them peel your hand off. I don't think he's good. Swing your hand right out and go for a cradle. The cradle will pin him. Uh, well, way more often. Okay? That's like four moves right there. Can you do it? It's a lot. But they're like, they're perfect. They flow right into each other. Okay? They set each other up. So if you get like a little series here, that could be very helpful. Okay? This is how you can get a guy who, uh, I'll give you one example. Beast of the East tournament. You guys know the Beast of the East? When I was a junior in high school, I wrestled a kid from Blair in the semifinals of that tournament. And I couldn't take the kid down. His name was uh, Ryan McGrath or Jeremy McGrath or something, something McGrath. He's pretty good. And uh, I couldn't take the kid down the first period, second period, pick bottom. I did this exact setup. This is what, this is what happened. And this is a Blair kid, and he was pretty darn good. He won the preps that year and all that. And right here, so boom. And I got this, and I lifted this up. And that leg went down, yep, and I turked it, and I tech called him in the next two minutes. With a turk, I never let his leg go. Okay, I tech, and we're here, and I got three points, and then I just went like this, and I let him roll through, and now he's here, this way, and I get my three points, and come this way, and three points, I heard him five times in two minutes. Never got his leg out. 